Blessed is our God, who is now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, God of hope, glory to thee. Heavenly King, O Comforter, Spirit of Truth, whatever our present fills all things, but treasure your every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, a good one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and to the ages of ages, amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, grace us in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, holy and visiting heal and from these for the name's sake, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and for the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the land of another ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship before the land of our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ, the King and our God. Our oh, beloved, our dead dwellings, the Lord of hosts, my soul, long and companion, for the courts of the Lord of my heart and my flesh, every rejoice in the living God, for the sparrow hath found herself a house, and a turtle dove, and as for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in a house in the ages of ages, so they praise thee. Blessed is a man who is helpless from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart, and a veil of weeping in a place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion, O Lord of hosts. Hearken to my prayer. Keep here, O God of Jacob, O God, our defender, and behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in the courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God, and to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed is man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, into thy land. Thou hast turned back to captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. But thou be wroth with us into the ages, will thou draw thy wrath from generation to generation. O God, will thou turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation, do thou give unto us. They will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them, and turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them, that fear them, as his salvation and glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace hath kissed each other. Truth is sprung about of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness in our land, to yield the fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down in your Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, of my God, I hope in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry. All the day long, make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good, and gentle, and plenteous in mercy, and plenteous in mercy unto them all, and to... Unto all them that call upon thee, give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou shalt shall make, all the nations whom thou, whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice, and I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the of most hades. O God, my transgressors are risen up against me in the assembly of the mighty, I saw of my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, Lord my God, are compassionate and merciful, long suffering, plenteous of mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them hate me, behold, and be put to shame, for thou, o Lord, hast opened and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them hate me, behold, and be put to shame, for thou, o Lord, hast opened and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Put down over into the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, my God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, my God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, my God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, my God of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy. 
Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, our hope, O Lord. Glory be to thee. O in the night, the hour of the master key to Thana to Yevsamenos, Necros, O in the Sarkoim, Simon, the Fronima, Christe, O Theos, Kesos, O Nima. Let my supplication run I before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle, give me understanding. Thou at the ninth hour forsakes this taste of death in the flesh. Mortify our carnal mind, O Christ, God, and save us. <clears throat> Let my petition come before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle, deliver me. Thou at the ninth hour forsakes this taste of death in the flesh. Mortify our carnal mind, O Christ, God, and save us. O thou who for our sakes was born of a virgin, both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men. Thou who for our sakes was born of a virgin, to suffer crucifixion, O good one, and assist spoil death by death, and as God just revealed the resurrection, disdain them not, which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show us thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Except the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who intercedeth for us, and do thou our Savior, Savior, despair, and will deliver us not upwardly for thy holy name, sake, neither this, and all thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's our holy one. Is for the God for the for the God for the mighty for the mortal mercy in us for the God for the mighty for the mortal mercy in us for the God for the mighty for the mortal mercy in us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit for now and unto the age of ages of men. O Holy Trinity of mercy in us, Lord, gracious us and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visiting you alone from each for the name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit for now and ever and unto the age of ages of men. Our 
Our Father, which art in heaven, so be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And seeing the author of life hanging on the cross, the thief said, If he who is crucified with us were not God incarnate, the Son would not have would not have would not have hid its rays, nor would the earth have quickened and trembled. But do thou who endurest all things, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst of two thieves, I cross was found to be a balance of justice, for one was bored down to Hades by the weight of his blasphemy, and the other was raised up from his sins to the knowledge of theology. O Christ God, glory be to thee, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When she who bare the Lamb and Shepherd and Savior of the world beheld him on a cross, she said, With tears, the world rejoices that received him redemption, but my bowels burn as I see thy crucifixion, which shall endure for all, my Son and my God. Lord of mercy, 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 in the name of the Lord, Master bless. God be gracious unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. The Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me that. By a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love, bestow upon me thy servant. King, grant me to see my own failings, and not to condemn my brother, for bless her down to the ages of ages. In thy kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. <clears throat> remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are they that are, that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are you that men shall revile and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in the heavens. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and Holy Spirit. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Holy Father, praise the name of Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Salvo, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Come unto him and be enlightened in your faces, you should not be ashamed. I have an acquired praise of thee in South Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of all, heaven and earth and full of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, acquire for the angels and archangels with all the heavenly hosts, praise of thee in South Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of all, heaven and earth and full of thy glory, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, 
who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures and said it, and ascended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is plagued by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Pardon, remit, forgive, O God, our, o God, our offenses, both voluntary and involuntary, in deed and word, and knowledge and ignorance, by night and by day, in mind and thought, forgive us all things, since our good and the friend of man. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Uh, on the mount, those whom figured in thy disciples as much as, they could, as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, that when they should see thee crucified, they would know thy passion to be willing and would preach to the world, that thou in truth are the effulgence of the Father. Thou hast taken to thyself, O Lord, the firm and God-proclaiming heralds, the chief apostles, for the enjoyment of thy blessings, and for repose, for thou hast accepted their labors and death above all sacrifice, so thou who alone knowest the secrets of our heart. O uh, thou, O righteous Nicholas Samira, truly wast shown forth as a sacred minister, fulfilling Christ's holy gospel, for thou didst lay down a life for thy flock and people, and O saint, did save the innocent from unjust death, wherefore thou wast sanctified as a great initiate of the divine grace of God. To be the pastor and protector of a countless host of homeless orphans, widows, paupers, and afflicted souls, to be author anthems born of love and thanksgiving, as a hierarch filled with grace and zeal for piety, do thou save us from the foes of apostolic truth, for we cry to thee, rejoice, O great wonder worker John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with the saints grant to us, O Christ, to the souls of thy servants, where there is neither pain, nor sorrow, nor sighing, but life and ending, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O protection of Christians, I cannot be put to shame, mediation unto the Creator most constant, or despise not the suppliant voices of those who have sinned, but be thou quick, O good one, to come into our aid, when faith cry unto thee, hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication, thou who dost ever protect with thee, tokens them that honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life towards the commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us by the holy angels, the guided and guarded by their array. May attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, be with our production, give us birth of God, the word, the very Theotokos, speed we magnify, in the name of the Lord, Master Blah. God be gracious unto us, and bless, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. Kyrie kades, patatis vois, mupne, margias, periergias, philarchias, ke argologias, mimidos. Πνεύματος ο φροσύνης, ταπεινό φροσύνης, υπομενής και αγάπης, χάρης έμιτος ο δούλου. Ναι, Κύριε Βασιλεύ, δώρης έμιτο, ράντα με απτέσματα και μη κατακρίνει τον αδερφό μου, ότι λογητός εις τους αιώνους των νόμων. Ο Θεός ελάφστη με το μαρτωδό. Ο Θεός ελάφστη με το μαρτωδό. Ο Θεός ηλάσθη θυμή το μάρτωλο. 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 Ο Θεός ηλάσθη θυμή το μάρτωλο και ελέησον με. Ναι, κύριε Βασιλέ, δώρησε με τώρα τα μαυτέσματα και μη κατεκρίνει τον αδερφό μου, ότι ευλογητό ει του αιώνε των αιώνων. Αμήν.
peace, for the peace of the for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal, mercy in us, for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal, mercy in us, for the God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immortal, have mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy in us, Lord, be gracious, and our sins, Master, for our iniquities, holy one, because any heal our infirmities, for the name's sake, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. One. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Holy Trinity, the consubstantial dominion, the indivisible kingdom, and cause of all every good. Show thy goodwill now even unto me, the sinner. Make steadfast my heart and grant it understanding. And take away mine every defilement. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify him, worship, and say, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to your Christ, God of hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy Master, bless. Christ our true God, by the intercessions of his holy Immaculate, noble and holy mother, by the supplications of the venerable glorious prophet, for honor and baptist John of our holy patron John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy martyr Agapius of Gaza, and those mar- who martyred with him in Caesarea and Palestine, whose memory we keep. Of our Father among the saints, Gregory the Great, Pope of Rome, whose liturgy we shall celebrate and of all the saints, may you have mercy on us and save us, for he is good in the friend of men. To the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Master, blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before the King God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King God. O God, give us wish to fall down before him, Christ, the King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord my God, thou hast magnified exceedingly, confession and majesty hast thou put on, cover thyself with light with a garment, who stretched out the heaven as it were, curtain, supported the chambers and the waters, who point the clouds for his ascent to walk upon the wings of the winds. Make his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, establish in the earth and assure us that all shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss of garment is his mantle upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, the voice thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that shall not pass and has returned to cover the earth. You send it forth springs in, in the valleys between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses wait to quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the heaven lodge amidst the rocks they give voice. The water of the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He caused the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheer forth oil and bread strengthen it to man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the seed of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron and chief among them. The high mountains are refuge the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was a night when all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. 
the sun arises, and, it, and they are gathered together, and lay them down in their dens, and man shall go forth to his work, and to his labor, and to the evening. I have magnified thy works, Lord of wisdom, hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is the great and spacious sea. There are no things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, that this dragon thou hast made to play therein. All things wait in thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest them, they will gather it. When open is thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest with thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and to their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord rejoice in his works. Look at the earth and make it tremble. Who touch the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O the sinners who cease from the earth, may they work iniquity, they should be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul. The sun north is going down, thou points of darkness, and there was a night. I magnified the works, Lord, of wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Oh, hope, Lord, glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace, from love, and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, to get a state of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to Lord, the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter here, and let Lord, us pray to the mercy. Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father and Archbishop Demetrius and Lord, his synodia. Lord, have mercy. For Bishop Benedict. For the Venerable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this sacred monastery, this town, every city, town, and countryside, and the, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives and their salvation, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let Lord, us pray to the mercy. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most, most blessed, glorious Lady Theodos, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another, in all our life, unto Christ our to God. Thee, o Lord. Lord, to thee, O Lord. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And to the Lord, in my affliction, have I cried, and he heard me, O Lord. Deliver my soul from unrighteous steps and from a crafty tongue. What shall be given unto thee, what shall be added unto thee, for thy crafty tongue, the arrows of the mighty one, sharp from the coals of the desert. Woe is me, for my sojourning is prolonged. I have tinted with the tintings of Kedar. My soul hath long been a sojourner, and with them may he peace, I was peaceable. When I speak unto them, they word against me without a cause. I have lifted up mine eyes to the mountains from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. Give not thy foot in the moon, moving, and may he not slumber that keepeth thee. Behold, he shall not slumber, nor shall he sleep, he that keepeth Israel. The Lord shall keep thee, the Lord is thy shelter at thy right hand. The sun shall not burn thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil. The Lord shall guard thy soul. The Lord shall keep thy coming in and thy going out from henceforth and forevermore. I was glad because of them that said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have stood in thy court. So Jerusalem, Jerusalem is builded as a city which its dwellers share in concord. For there the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, as a testimony for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones and the judgment thrones over the house of David. Ask now for the things which are for the peace of Jerusalem, for the prosperity of them that love thee. Let peace be now in thy strength and prosperity in thy palaces for the sake of my brethren and my neighbors I speak peace concerning thee because of the house of the Lord our God I have sought good things for thee unto thee have I lifted up mine eyes and to thee that dwellest in heaven behold as the eyes of the servants look into the hands of their masters as the eyes of the handmaid look into the hands of her mistress so do our eyes look into the Lord our God until he take pity on us have mercy on us O Lord have mercy on us for greatly are we filled with abasement greatly hath our soul been filled therewith let reproach come upon them that prosper in abasement on the proud had it not been that the Lord was with us, let Israel now say, had it not been that the Lord was with us when men rose up against us, and had they swallowed us up alive, when the wrath raged against us, then had the water overwhelmed us, our soul hath passed through a torrent, then had our soul passed through the water that is irresistible. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us to be a prey to their teeth. Our soul, like a sparrow, was delivered out of the snare of the hunters. The snare is broken, and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God, O Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance, O holy and the most blessed, glorious day, Theotokos, and every virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. They that trust both now and ever into the ages of ages of men, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, he that dwelleth at Jerusalem, nevermore shall he be shaken. Mountains are round about her, and the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and forevermore, for the Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch forth their hands unto iniquities. Do good, O Lord, unto them that are good, unto the upright of heart, but them that turn aside under crooked ways shall the Lord lead away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord turned again to captivity of Zion, we be convinced men that are comforted, then with our mouth filled with joy, and our tongue with rejoicing. Then shall they say among the nations, The Lord hath done great things unto them, the Lord hath done great things among us, and we are become glad. Turn again, O Lord, our captivity, like streams in the south. They that sow with tears shall reap with rejoicing in their going. They went and they wept as they cast their seeds, but in their coming shall they come with rejoicing, bearing their sheaves. Except the Lord build the house, in vain do they labor to build it. Except the Lord guard the city, in vain that they watch to guard her. It is vain for you to rise at dawn. Ye that eat the bread of sorrow, rouse yourselves at the resting. When he hath given sleep to his beloved, lo, sons are the heritage of the Lord, the reward of the fruit of the womb. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the sons of them that were outcast. Blessed is he that shall fulfill his desires with them. They shall not be put to shame when, to they, when they speak to their enemies in the gates. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord, that walk in his ways. Thou shalt eat the fruit of thy labors. Blessed art thou, and well shall it be with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine on the sides of thy house. Thy sons like young olive trees round about thy table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord, the Lord to bless thee out of Zion. And mayest thou see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. And mayest thou see thy children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, and yet they have not prevailed against me. The sinners wrought upon my back. They lengthened out their iniquity. The Lord is righteous. He hath cut asunder the necks of sinners. Let them be put to shame and turned back. All they they hate Zion. Let them be as, uh, let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which before it is plucked up is withered away. Wherefore the reaper filleth not his hand, nor he that gathereth sheaves his bosom, nor have they that pass by said a blessing. Of the Lord come upon you. We have blessed you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eti keti ni rintu kiri o dei thomen Kiri eleisa Andi labu sosun eleison kiri a filoxoni maso teosti si kariti Kiri eleisa Hispana ia sacrandi per blogi meni sen doxu Desvinisi monti autobu kiai guartenu maria Sota quando entrano iumni monev sandes E aftus ke alilus ke pasan tim zoini mon Christo do theo para tometa Si kiri e O dio gatos ke filantri vos teos i parhis ke si din doxu ano pe moment το Πατρί και το Ιώ και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την Ικαίαη και στις ώρες των αιώνων. Ωμοι. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand for with thee? There is forgiveness for thy name's sake. I have patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord from the morning watch until night. From the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. O Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor my mine eyes become lofty. Or if I walked in things too great or too marvelous for me, if I were not humbled, minded, but exalted my soul as one weaned from his mother, so which thou requite my soul, let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Remember, O Lord David, in all his meekness, how he made an oath unto the Lord, and vowed unto the God of Jacob, I shall not go into the dwelling of my house, I shall not ascend upon the bed of my couch, I shall not give sleep to mine eyes, nor slumber to mine eyelids, nor rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a habitation for the God of Jacob. Lo, we have heard of it in Athrapha, we have found it in the plains of the wood. Let us go forth into his tabernacles, let us worship at the place where his feet have stood. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou in the ark of thy holiness.
Thy priests shall be clothed with righteousness, and the right and thy righteous shall rejoice. For the sake of David, thy servant, turn not thy face away from thine anointed one. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, and he will not annul it. Of the fruit of thy loins will I set upon thy throne. If thy sons keep my covenant and his testimonies, which I will teach them, their sons also shall sit forever on thy throne. For the Lord hath elected Zion, he hath chosen her to be a habitation for himself. This is my rest forever and ever here will I dwell, for I have chosen her, blessing all bless her pursuit. Her beggars will I satisfy with bread, her priests will I clothe with salvation, and her saints with rejoicing shall rejoice. There will I make to spring forth a horn for David. I have prepared a lamp for my Christ, his enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now, what is good is so joyous, as for brethren to dwell together in unity, as like the oil of myrrh upon the head, which runneth down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, which runneth down to the fringe of his raiment. It is like the dew of Aaron, which cometh down upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commandeth blessing life forevermore. Behold now, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, and the night lift up your hands unto the holies, and bless the Lord. The Lord bless thee out of Zion, he that made heaven and the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the age of ages of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God, our Father, Lord. Glory be to thee. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, with thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance for our holy immaculate, most, most blessed, glorious day, the Adolphus, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, our dear God, our God, with mercy and save us, and unto the reason of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. And Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Hearken unto me, O Lord. Set the Lord a watch before my mouth and a door of enclosure round about my lips. Incline not my heart unto words of evil to make excuse with excuses and sin. With men that work iniquity and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures, followed up near by the rock of their judges' bed. They shall hear my words, for they be sweetened, as a cloud of earth is broken upon the earth. So have their bones been scattered nigh unto hate. Praise to thee, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes, and thee have I hoped to gnaw my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own, and I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, mine affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting, within me, and I knew is my path. In this way wherein I have walked, they hid from me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Light hath failed me, and there is none that watcheth out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope. My portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may, that I may confess thy name. <clears throat> By not fasting from the tree of knowledge according to the Creator's commandment, the first fashion reap the fruit of death that cometh from disobedience. And were banished from the tree of life and the delight of paradise. Wherefore, O ye faithful, let us fast from the foods that perish <coughs> and the passions that destroy, that we may reply from the d divine cross. <coughs> And that together with the grateful thief, 
we may return unto our ancient fatherland and receive from Christ God great mercy. The righteous shall be patient before me <laughs> until thou shalt reward me by not fasting from the tree of knowledge according to the Creator's commandment, the first fashion reap the fruit of death that cometh from disobedience, and were banished from the tree of life and the paradise of delight. Wherefore, O ye faithful, let us pass from the foods that perish and the passions that destroy, that we may reap life from the divine cross, and that together with the grateful thief we may return unto our ancient fatherland and receive from Christ God great mercy. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. <clears throat> having disdained all earthly things and having courageously defied torments, ye did not fall short of your blessed hopes, but became, but ye became heirs of the kingdom of the heavens, O all famed martyrs. Since ye have borne this with the man befriending God, pray that peace be granted unto the world and great mercy to our souls. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of, of my supplication. Riven in thy side and hanging on the tree of the holy cross, thou didst make life flow forth to me, who fully was put to death, when through serpent's malice I ate of the tree, hence I glorify thee, O Christ God, and I entreat thy compassion, show me forth a worshipper, both of thy passion and a rising who fully ran the whole course of the blameless fast with compunction of heart and mind. If thou shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, Lord, who shall stand for with thee there is forgiveness? <laughs> when the firstborn fam reaped endless grief and misery from the tree, thou didst drive him from paradise. But when thou as man was nailed to the tree, O Saviour, thou didst make him dwell there again, and hence I cry to thee, O my Redeemer, now save me from my woes, and make, make me clean through fasting, through sincere repentance and fervent tears. Jesus, Thou who art more than good, the divine Savior of our souls. For Thy name's sake, I patiently waited for Thee, O Lord. My soul waited patiently for Thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. O Lord, we praise Thy life-giving cross, for it hath blossomed forth with life in the world and has slain death. We offer it unto Thee now in intercession. In these holy days, strengthen us to fast and give us power against passions and the prize of peace for Thine abundant mercy's sake, O friend of man. Abu Philakis proes me crinictois, Abu Philakis proes elpisato Israel, piton kirion. Kirie sito astenestis anthropon, os epistamenos fiseus, os on enkerotis nistias, ischinimas ke krateuson, katapathon ke ekthron, o menonos evsplagnos, apathia psychis tichisas, tu doxas in suto eleos. For the Lord there is mercy, and one who is plenty's redemption, 
and he is redeemed Israel out of all his iniquities. Lord, since thou knowest well how weak is man's nature, gird us with strength in this holy fast. Give us power over the passions and over spiritual enemies. And set this passion of soul about us as a mighty wall that we may glorify thy great mercy, since thou only art compassionate. O oh, praise the Lord, ye nations, praise him, all ye peoples. <clears throat> Lord, by the Comforter's divine inspiration, thou let us say, by from bitter gloom to the light of thy divine dwelling, since thou art good and thou gavest him. Power to conquer the foes, and when he triumphed mightily, thy valiant soldier and trophy bearer, glorify the O the friend of man. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. O Lord, since thou art good and lovest all mankind, preserve us all through thy martyr's prayers, in thy mighty shelter, O Savior of thy divine and noetic wings, and count us worthy to see in holiness and purity thy resurrection upon the third day, since so word thou art compassionate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Lord, when the Son beheld thy dread crucifixion, O thou divine Son of righteousness, it concealed its rays out of terror, seeing thee hanging upon the tree. Likewise the moon ceased to shine, and changed its brightness into gloom. As for thy blameless and virgin mother, her pure heart was wounded grievously. Wisdom Sitting of the Son, and behold, the evening light, praise Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God, give this good day, O Thomas, to be praised, be blessed, and blessed, 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 blessed,
And all the days of Malaliel were 890 and five years, and he died. And Jared lived 160 and two years, and begat Enoch. And Jared lived after begat Enoch 800 years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were 960 and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived 165 years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch was well pleasing to God after begat Methuselah 200 years, and he begat sons and daughters, and all the days of Enoch were 316 five years, and Enoch was well pleasing to God and was not found because God translated him. Wisdom. Prochimenon, Plagal of Second Tone, Psalm 36. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, nor envy them that work iniquities. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. My son, do what I command thee, and deliver thyself, for thou art come into the hands of evil men for thy friend's sake. Be not remiss, but urge even thy friend, for whom thou art become surety. Give, sleep, give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber with thine eyelids, that thou mayest deliver thyself as a gazelle out of the toils, and as a bird out of the snare. Go to the ant, O sluggard, and see, and emulate his ways and become wiser than he. For he, having no field, nor any to compel him, and being under no master, prepareth food for himself in summer, and layeth up plentiful provision and harvest. Or go to the bee, and learn what a worker she is, and how seriously she doth doeth her work, whose labors kings and common men use for health, and she is desired by all, and right glorious. Though weak in strength, she is advanced by honoring wisdom. How long wilt thou lie, O sluggard, and when wilt thou awake out of sleep? Thou sleepest a little, and thou restest a little, and thou slumberest a short time, and thou foldest thine arms over thy breast a little. Then poverty cometh upon thee as an evil wayfarer, and want as a swift courier. But if thou be diligent, thy harvest shall come as a fountain, and poverty, like a bad courier, shall depart of its own accord. A foolish man and a transgressor goeth in ways that are not good, and the same winketh with the eye, and maketh a sign with his foot, and teacheth with the beckoning of his fingers. His perverse heart deviseth evils. At all times such a one causeth troubles to a city. Therefore his destruction cometh suddenly, overthrow an irremediable wound, and he rejoiceth in all things which the Lord hateth, and he is ruined by reason of uncleanness of soul. The eye of the insolent, a tongue unjust, hands shedding the blood of the righteous, and a heart devising evil thoughts, and feet hastening to do evil, shall be utterly destroyed. An unjust witness kindleth falsehoods, and soweth discord among brethren. My son, keep the laws of thy father, and reject not the ordinance of thy mother.
Attend unto the voice of my supplication when I cry to thee. <laughs>
Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O oh Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox have Christians. Mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius and his synodia. Lord have mercy. For Bishop Benedict. And for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For have mercy, Holy Spirit, Amen. Pray, catechumens, to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Faithful for the catechumens, let us pray. Lord have mercy. That the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. And may catechize them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That it may reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. May may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. We catechumens bow your heads unto the Lord. To thee, O Lord. For after these no glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart, ye catechumens depart. As many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Ότι πρέπει σε πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκυνήσει στο πατρί και το Ιώκη το Αγιο Πνεύμα την Ικαία ή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy Lord have mercy. Wisdom. According to the gift of thy Christ, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
The prayers of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of our sins.
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν τη ουρανή Αγία, τι το το όνομά σου, έλθε το η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το το θελημά σου, ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, ω η μισή μου και άφηση μην τα οφειλήματα ημών, ω και η μισή σοφία με το σοφίλα τη ημών, και μη σε νέγηση μα τη πυροσβών, αλλά ρίσε ημά από του πονηρού. Ω τσου να σύζω εσύ, λέγω σε εξαστρία τη ησιά, η μία του έντα πρίζε τσάρστια του, τα πέντε πόλια του αγιάκου να νευεσί να ζεμλεί. Λεύνος να σου σνιδάζνουν, ναι, εσύ ως τάβινον το γυνάσαι, ακούσε εμείς στο βράδυ των κομνάσεων. Η νεύρη δυνά σου εισκούσεν, η νοή σπάβινα σου το κάβοκο, ο τόης άρστο εσύ λεστάω, ο τσάις είναι εσύ ο τέκατος χανίνι, πρίσνε ο δε και βεκό. Αμήν, καν του δα the Son of the Living God, who came us into the world to see sinners of whom I am chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed an immaculate body, and this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, and word indeed, and all that in ignorance. And vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries under the remission of sins and under life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, O maker, burn me, and as I partake for fire, thou which burn thee, and worthy, but purify thou me of every stain. Of the mystics of our Son, O God, receive me today as a communicant, for I have not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss to Judas, but like the thief, do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou. Behold, this is deifying blood, for it is a burning coal, consuming thee, worthy. The body of God will deify it, and nourisheth me. It deifieth the spirit, and wonderfully nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with your name, O Christ, and, and by thy divine love has not changed me, but with an immaterial fire consume my sins, and come me worthy to be filled with delight in thee, to leaping for joy, a good one, and may magnify, I may magnify thy two comings. And to the splendor of thy saints, how shall I thee, unworthy one enter, for should I dare to enter the bridal chamber of my vesture? Doth betray me, for it is not a wedding garment, and as one bound should be cast up by the angels' cleanse. 
O Lord, the defile men of my soul and save me since I art a friend of man. Remember, friend and master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be in me, be unto me for judgment of men and worthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of all soul and body. And as an earnest of life in the kingdom of comfort, it is good for me to cleave in a God and place in the Lord to hope in my salvation. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief, do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. O Herod of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Adorned with crowns of righteousness, O Nicholas, that thou standest before the throne of grace, saved by thine intercessions, and thy faithfully now crown thee with hymns. O Herod of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Since thou hast received the grace of healings of all blessing Nicholas, heal the wounds of my soul by thy prayers, and rescue me by thine intercessions from the trials that befall me. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. By the strength of thine intercession, O Nicholas, set aright my soul, which is utterly palsied by transgressions, and save us all from the hardships of life. Most holy Theotokos, will save us. Drive away the darkening of my mind with thy light, O blameless virgin, and rescue me from the, everla- from the darkness everlasting, that I may unceasingly hymn thy mighty deeds. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. O boast of high priest, divine fragrance of the Spirit, with thy myrrh-breathing prayers, dispel the stinking passions of my heart, I beseech thee, O wise Nicholas. O hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Passing my life in carelessness, I, hapless wretch that I am, fear thy judgment seat, O Christ, where it condemn me not, since thou art employed by the sacred mediations of Nicholas. O hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Arrayed as thou art in, in the varied colors of divine grace, O hierarch and Father Nicholas, preserve me from various temptations and perils, and fleet as I flee for refuge to thy shelter, all blessed one. O Herak of Christ, intercede in our behalf, as, fulfill, as a fulfiller of all the commandments of God, O Father and Herak Nicholas, prosper us by thy intercessions to keep the laws that lead to salvation and rescue us from all temptations that come upon us. O Herak of Christ, intercede in our behalf, since thou hast finished thy course righteously in Christ, rightly guide our paths unto him, that fleeing, fleeing from the false paths of the deceiver, we may attain unto perfect salvation of God, being Father Nicholas. O Hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. O wise Father Nicholas, who didst put to sleep all the enemy's devices by thy divine vigilance, bestow grace upon us all who keep vigil and sing God's praise, and bring thee forward as our mediator with him. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The prophet, having perceived thee in, in the spirit of God, figured thee as an overshadowed mountain, O pure Theotokos, then now overshadow us by grace and by thy well-pleasing mediations, them that are withered by the flame of many iniquities. O Hierarch of Christ, deceive in our behalf. Thou wast planted in the courts of the Lord, O Father Nicholas, and now by grace, like a fruitful olive tree, thou makest the faces of all cheerful with the oil of thy labors. O Hierarch of Christ, deceive in our behalf. Make entreaty for thy service now, O Father, that we might receive the forgiveness of failings and be rescued from every tribulation and straightness oppressing us. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. We entreat thee, our, fer- our fervent suppliant with God. Lead, leave us not and protect us, saying, but save us by the wanted intercessions. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O light like temple of Christ, O maiden most grace of God, by thy prayers make us dwellings of the Father, Son, and Spirit, working holy deeds. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Since thou hast a multitude of compassions, O wise Nicholas, diminish the multitude of mine evils. Piloting my life that is ever storm tossed on the surging waves of sin. O Hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. Mightily didst thou trample down the enemy, O wise Nicholas, that we also might break him in pieces. Make us strong by thy prayers, for we are rich in thee as a divine protector. O Hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. O thou who became as the true high priest of Mira, guide the senses of our soul aright, O Father, ever driving away the harmful and foul smelling passions. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Christ hath done to thee great things, O pure virgin, whom thou ever entreat to make his rich mercy to be great in me, O most grace of God. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. With thy strengthening intercession, O wise Nicholas, set the steps of my heart surely upon the rock of God's most manifest commandments, preserving me unmoved by the ruinous devices of the enemy, the originator of evil. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Obtain for us losing from sins and from all the hardships of life and the temptations that come upon us, the sacred Nicholas, the protector of all the faithful and support of high priests. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. 
I am the wicked servant that hid the talent that I received to work with, O good one. And I fear the tribunal yonder, where it condemn me not, O God of all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O gracious Virgin, all holy, immaculate, and pure, we thy servants continually implore thee day and night with a contrite heart. Through thine ent entreaties, give us deliverance from our many sins. O hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. Standing at the mountain of divine virtues, O Nicholas, thou wast made known unto the ends of the world through the display of exalted miracles. Wherefore, every tongue honoreth thee unto the ages. O hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. Having tasted of the divine sweetness, O righteous one, thou dost hate the bitterness of every manner of pleasure. Whereat, and wherefrom do thou rescue us, entreating Christ that he do quell the perils that rise up against us? O hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. As an unshakable pillar and support of the faithful, O blessed Nicholas, make me steadfast by the prayers, who am ever violently disturbed by the evils of life and the inspiration of demons. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Heal the passions of my heart, I pray thee, O Virgin, who just conceived the healer of all, and importuning Christ, show me to be a partaker of the portion of the righteous. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. We praise thee in sacred song as a Hierarch of Christ, and a star radiant with light, O Father, as a work of miracles, as a fountain of healings, as the help of those in various, uh, as the help of those in sorrow, and the exceedingly fervent intercessor for those who call on thee in need. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. O Nicholas, the great shepherd and imitator of Christ, the chief shepherd in all things, we earnestly implore thee, from the sacred heights, shepherd thy servants, continually delivering us from all the adversities of life. O Hierarch of Christ, to deceive in our behalf. Already the end is nigh. Why art thou careless, O my soul? Why art thou not diligent to serve God in a manner pleasing unto him? Hasten, therefore, rouse thyself and cry. O friend of man, take pity on me through the intercessions of Nicholas, guiding my life in that which is good. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O thou gavest birth to the divine light, enlighten me, whom darkened by all the enemy's wiles, who have lived slothfully and provoked God to anger all blameless virgin, and direct me to good works, and start the cause of all good things. And thy victorious right hand hath in godly manner been glorified in strength, whereas Almighty, O mortal one, it smote the adversary, fashioning anew the path, the deep for the Israelites. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, according to the magnitude of thy mercy. O Christ, do away with the multitude of my sins, I pray thee, and grant me the thought of converting, that I may glorify thy goodness, which is past understanding. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In the loving kindness of thy compassions, uh, thou dost appear on earth as an incarnate man. Wherefore, accept me, who have sinned more than any other man, O word of God, and who now fall down before thy compassions and repentance. O martyr to Christ, intercede on our behalf, emulating the death of Christ, who for his own will suffered death. O most lauded and right glorious ones, he endured multifarious sufferings and death. Wherefore, ye have received immortal life, O martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, all gloriously bearing the fire of divine love within you, O martyrs. Ye did not fear the fire, but the ardent excess of pain. Ye utterly consumed all the tinder of polytheism. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages of men, with us the ranks of the incorporeal beings, him the almost him to virgin, for unto the infinite one thou became incarnate in for for unto the infinite one who became incarnate in thy womb, thou gavest birth, remaining a virgin as thou wast before giving birth, O bride of God, O thou who alone hast known the weakness of human nature, having in thy mercy formed thyself therein, thou dost gird me about with power from on high, that I may chant to thee, holy is the living temple of thine ineffable glory, O thou who lovest mankind, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Arise and step forth on my soul and cry out to thy creator who knoweth all thy hidden things and show forth fruits of repentance, that the compassionate Lord may have mercy on thee and deliver thee from everlasting fire. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, O only good one, purify, cleanse, and save me. For like the publican, I cry out to thee with fear. I am drawn along by a multitude of sins, am crushed beneath the weight of my transgressions, and am filled with all immeasurable shame. O martyr to Christ, intercede on our behalf, filled with the with wisdom and true understanding, the martyrs showed the wisdom of the pagans to be foolishness. They destroyed the evil of their philosophies and suffered mightily, as is meet, have received crowns of victory, rejoicing. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, confessing the Trinity and person, of persons, the unity and essence. So athletes, you destroyed the falsehood of polytheism and with divine faith, and were shown to be luminaries, enlightening the hearts of all with rays of grace, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages of men, a pure and holy bride of God, in holiness thou givest birth to the Son and Word, who with the Father is equally without beginning, who resteth in the saints, and is and in the Holy Spirit sanctifieth those who piously call him holy. Habakkuk, gazing with the eyes of foresight upon thee, the mountain overshadowed by the grace of God, prom prophesied that the Holy One of Israel would come forth from thee for our salvation and restoration. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. What can I like in thee, O my wretched soul, who committeth wickedness and faileth to do good? Turn thou and cry out to him who is of his own will beggared himself for thy sake. O thou who knowest the hearts of men, have pity and save me. Have mercy me, O God, have mercy me, O Savior. Thou hast appointed a repentance for those who turn away. Bestow it upon me, O good one, granting me compunction and sighs before the end of my life, as thou didst to the harlot of old who claps thy feet, O Master. O martyr to Christ, intercede on our behalf, brimming with the waters of the Spirit. The martyrs were shown by God to be rivers of living water by the Spirit. They dried up the torrents of turbid deception and have been given drink to the end. And, and, have given drink to the minds of the faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The divine martyrs struggled greatly, for they endured fire and the sword, and the infliction of all manner of evils by their supplications. O word of God, deliver from great and everlasting torment those who hymn thee with faith. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men, the compassionate Son, who transcended times and seasons, who in the beginning was begotten of the unbegotten Father, who became incarnate of thee, O Virgin, was born within time, desiring to abolish the temporal warfare of of mortals. O Christ, who has enlightened the ends of the world and with the radiance of thy coming and hast illumined them with thy cross, with the light of thy divine knowledge, enlighten the hearts of those who hymn thee in orthodox manner. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have fallen to the corruption of the passions and fear that thy, and fear thy just judgment, O righteous Lord. Wherefore, I pray thee, strengthen me to do good works, which may justify me, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou knowest the hidden and secret things of my heart, O my God, Creator and Lord. Wherefore, condemn me not at the hour of judgment, when thou shalt come to judge all men. O martyr to Christ, interceding on behalf, and tasting of fire, the saints showed forth the burning of their divine love, wherein, wherefore, bedewed the, the God-bearers rejoiced with the, in the expectation of the things to come. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men, fortified by the hope of good things, the martyrs most patiently endured dismemberment with the cords of their mighty endurance. They strangled the greatly crafty one. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men, the mouths of orators are unable to convey the ineffable wonder of thy birth giving, O bride of God, for thou gavest birth to the ineffable one, and in thine arms thou didst hold him who will hold all things in his hand. The outermost abyss has surrounded us, and there is none to deliver us. We are accounted as lambs for the slaughter. Save thy people, O our God, for thou art the strength and correction of the weak. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As a physician, O Christ, heal the sufferings of my heart and cleanse me of every defilement with streams of compunction, O my Jesus, that I may him and magnify thy compassion. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Turn me back, who have gone astray among the ways of destruction and fallen and fall into the pit of offenses, O Christ, and lead me to the straight paths of, the, of thine honorable justifications, that I may glorify thee. Truly, the Christ, the Son of the Living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed an immaculate body, and that this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, forgiving my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and ignorance, and vouchsafe that, that I condemned. I may partake of thy immaculate mysteries and the remission of sins, and of the life of the last. <coughs>
sanctification, meditating on thy righteousness all the day long. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life-creating, fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves in one another, in all our life, unto Christ our God. Good be o Lord. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Almighty Master, who has made all created things in wisdom and by thine inexpressible providence and great goodness, has brought us unto these all venerable unto these all venerable days for the purification of body and soul for the controlling of passions and for hope of the resurrection, who during the forty days this give into the hand of the servant Moses the tablets of the law in characters divine and traced by thee, enable us also, a good one, to fight the good fight, Amen. to complete the course of the fast, Amen. to preserve and value the faith, Amen. to crush underfoot the heads of invisible serpents, Amen. to be accounted victors over sin, Amen. and uncondemned to attain and to enter worship the holy resurrection. Amen. For blessed and glorified is the no honorable and majestical name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. O holy apostle Aristobulus, intercede with the merciful God, that he grant unto our souls forgiveness of offenses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Let all of us entreat Christ the Lord's holy martyrs, for they make supplication for our soul's salvation. With faith and with longing, therefore, let us draw nigh unto them, for they overflow with the divine grace of healings, and they drive away the ranks of demons in terror as guardians of the faith. Can in Kia Jesusun as to no namin? Ti presvia kiri e pandon ton nai on ke tiste o toku kin siniri ni noi si mini ke le isoni mas os mono esiktir mo. O Lord has brought all things unto perfection by the will of Lord and has commanded the earth. To produce fruits of every kind for our enjoyment and sustenance with grains, to show the three children Daniel to be fairer than them that in Babylon live sumptuously. Do thou, supremely good King, bless these grains also together with these diverse fruits, and sanctify them that partake thereof. For it is unto thy glory, o Lord, that they have been presented by the servants, and in honor and memory of the holy martyrs, Agapius of Gaza, and those with him, Plesius and Alexander of Egypt, Alexander of Gaza, Romulus of Diospolis in Palestine, and Timolaus of Pontus. Dionysius of Tripolis in Phoenicia, and another Dionysius, who were martyred in Caesarea of Palestine, the holy apostle Aristobulus, bishop of Britain, brother of St. Barnabas the apostle, the holy martyr Nicander of Egypt, the holy new martyr Manuel of Crete, who was beheaded in Chios, the holy virgin martyr Leocretia of Cordova, a righteous father Nicander of, Gorodno, of Gorodnozersk, and also in memory of them that have finished their life in godly faith, and do the only good grant unto them that have prepared these things and celebrate this memory, their every solitary request in the enjoyment of their everlasting good things, by the intercessions of our Immaculate Lady Tatokos and the Virgin Mary, of the Holy Martyr Agapis of Gaza and those with him, and of the Holy Apostle Aristobulus, Bishop of Britain, brother of St. Barnabas the Apostle, whose memory we also keep in of all thy saints. For thou art he that blessed and sanctified all things of Christ our God, and to thee do we send up glory with thy Father, which is without beginning, and then all holding good and life creating spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever into the ages of ages, men. <clears throat> oh, bless the Lord at all times, his praise continually be in my mouth, and the Lord shall my soul be praised, unto me, care, and be glad, and magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt this name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. <clears throat> Come unto him and be enlightened in your faces, and not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp around about them, and fear him, and will deliver them. O teach and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopeth in him. O fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no want of them. I fear him, rich men, a turn poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desires life, who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, that one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong. I hope in him. I will exalt thee, O my God, my King, <clears throat> and I will bless thy name forever, yea, forever and ever, every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly to be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Generation and generation shall praise thy works, and thy power shall they declare the majesty of thy glory, of thy holiness shall they speak, and they shall tell of thy wonders, and the power of thine awesome deeds shall they relate, and they shall tell of thy majesty, the memory of the multitude of thy goodness shall they pour forth, and in thy righteousness shall they rejoice. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his compassions are over all his works. <clears throat> that all thy works, O Lord, Give praise to thee, and let thy righteous ones bless thee of the glory of thy kingdom. Shall they speak, and they shall tell of thy dominion, or to make thy dominion known to the sons of men, and the glory of the majesty of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is the kingdom of all the ages, and thy sovereignty is in every generation and generation. Faithful is the Lord in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord upholdeth all that are falling, and setteth up all that are broken down. The eyes of all look to thee with hope, and now give us in our food in due season. Now open us thy hand, and fill us every living thing with thy favor. Righteous is the Lord in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call on him in truth, the will of them that fear him, shall he do in their supplications, shall he hear, and he shall save them. The Lord preserveth all that love him, but all the sinners shall he utterly destroy. My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for men always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, God of hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but not unto you, to the Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master, bless.
Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of His Holy Immaculate and Oblivious Holy Mother, by the power of the honor and in Christ, by the protection of the Venerable Head and the Bodiless Powers, by the supplications of the Venerable Glorious Prophet, for honor and baptism, John, of the Holy Glorious and Alpha and the Apostles, <coughs> Peter and Paul, the Chief of the Twelve and the Seventy, of our Father among the Saints, Nicholas of Myra, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George Trophy, Barry Demetrius, and Streaming, of the Holy Glorious and Triumphantly Victorious Martyrs of our Righteous and God Ring Fathers, Clement and Noam of Ocrida and the Workers, Seraphim of Sorrow, Firman of Alaska, and the Juvenile of Alaska, Tika and the Confessor, Patriarch of Moscow, Peter the Allot, of our Fathers among the Saints and New Confessors, Philoid of New York, Glicaria of Romania, and Chrysostom of Florida, of our Righteous Mothers, Xenia and Tarasil of for Christ's sake, of our Holy Patron John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the Wonder Worker, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the Holy Martyrs, Sabbath, and of Egypt, and our Righteous Father Christodoulos, the Wonder Worker, founder of the Monastery of St. John Theologian on the Isle of Patmos, whose memory we keep, of our Father among the Saints, Gregory, the Great Pope of Rome, whose liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the Saints, may have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of men. To the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Pray to the Mass, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And having attained a good communion of the life creating mystic gifts, great, straight wicked praise and great thanksgiving for really fun, thy soul crying to God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, that thou hast not rejected me, the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be a communicant of thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy and worthy as I am to partake in thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But O member, friendly master, who does die for us and rise again, it's grant us these dread and life creating mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant also that these may be enemy for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and pain, for faith and shame, for the finitude of wisdom, and for the keeping of thy commandments, and for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of the kingdom. That being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and never live for myself, but for thee, O Master and Benefactor, and thus once in this life, I pass in the hope of life eternal, may, t- may attain to everlasting rest, for the sun is unceasing on them, make festival. And unending the delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance, for thou art a true desire in the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And all creation praiseth thee unto the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me and for its participation in thine immaculate and life creating mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, good one, thy friend of man, guard me under thy protection in the shadow of thy wings, and grant that with a pure conscience to my last breath I may worthily partake of thy holy gifts and the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. For thou art a bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, and a giver of all that is good, and to thee we send of glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who givest me willingly as nourishment, thy flesh, thou who art fire and has consumed thee, and worthy scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the right ordering of my members and do all my joints, my reins, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my defenses, purify my soul, sanctify my mind, make firm my knees and bones, enlighten the simple unity of my five senses, nail down the whole of me with thy fear, ever shelter, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse and order me aright, make me comely, give me understanding and enlighten me. Show me forth as a habitation of the Spirit only, and no longer as a habitation of sin, that as thine abode from the ancient sin of thy communion, every evil doer and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercessors, I bring to thee all the sanctified, the ranks of the incorporeal powers, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further the pure and spotless mother, the prayers of these receive from my compassionate Christ, and make of me who worship thee a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the illumination of our souls, and to thee as our God and Master, we stay as is fitting, I'll send of glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for the eternal life, and thy precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and in thy dread second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, by the intercessions of thine only the mother, and of all these saints. Amen. O well, Holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my dark and soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy, I thank thee that thou hast deemed me the unworthy one, worthy to be a communicant to the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who gave us birth to the true light, enlighten thee in the wedded eyes of my heart. O thou who dost conceive the source of immortality, give life to me whom dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionately loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me and give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my reasonings, and recall all my thoughts in your captivity. And deem me worthy to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries and the healing of both soul and body, and grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and glorified art thou unto the ages. For blessed and glorified art thou unto the ages. For blessed and glorified art thou unto the ages. Amen. Now let us thou serve any part of peace and master according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the nations and the glory of the people of Israel. Peace be light, it has put for the God for the mighty holy mortal mercy in us, for the God for the mighty holy mortal mercy in us, for the God for the mighty holy mortal mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and from unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity of mercy in us, for the graces and our sins, master of pardon our iniquities, holy one, visiting heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. 
Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. As one endowed with discretion and speech, thou dost prove to be a most excellent dispenser of the word of God, O higher right Gregory. For by thy life thou dost set the virtues before us, and thou dost shine forth with the brilliance of holiness, O righteous Father. Do thou entreat Christ God that we be granted great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to thee who are the church's tuneful harp inspired of God, thou tongue of wisdom, who was fairly possessed of God, unto thee as his meat, we now offer praises, for thou truly hast the zeal of the apostles' choir, and dost follow in their footsteps as their worthy heir. To thee do we say, Rejoice, O divine Father Gregory, both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. By the intercession of the Lord of all the saints, and the Theotokos, do thou grant us a peace, and have mercy in us, and thou alone are compassionate. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the age of the age of men. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, be without corruption, give us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos seed, we magnify you in the name of the Lord, Master Bless. God, the cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to the Christ, God our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy Master of God. Christ our true God, by the intercessions of his Holy Immaculate, Noble and Holy Mother, by the supplications of the Venerable Glorious Prophet, Ron and Baptist John, of our Holy Patron John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the Wonder Worker, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the Holy Martyr Sabine, and of our righteous Father Christodoulos, the Wonder Worker, founder of the Monastery of San, St. John Theologian, on the island of Patmos, whose memory we keep, of our Father among the saints, Gregory, the great Pope of Rome, whose liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, may you have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. To the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.